Hello and welcome to a new series of Game Maker Studio Tutorials for the absolute beginner. Uh, my name is Reese Warren and today I'm going to be guiding you through some of the basic things inside Game Maker Studio to get you started in making games. So, the first thing I want to cover is simply creating a game project. So, the game project is important because it contains all of the assets for your game and Essentially, the project is what allows Game Maker to in interpret all the information that it needs to like contain. So, to create a new project, click the New tab, and then select a folder where you want to save your project. Uh, ideally, this will be on your own like USB drive or wherever you want to store the project. So, for the purposes of this video, this is on my local computer. So, I'm going to put it on my four terabyte drive and then Game Maker Tutorials and then I've created a projects folder here and just so I can reference back to this video I'm going to name the project episode dash one like so and then just simply hit the create button this should load up the project and yeah once the project loads you will end up with this window here so uh, this is a news feed, uh, you don't really need this in your editor, so you can actually hit the X button uh, there, it's hard to see, but um, so that will actually close that down. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is simply creating a sprite. So what a sprite is, is essentially it's a 2D image uh, inside the game. Um, game Maker is a 2D game engine. Um, and what that means is that all of the um, actual things that move on the screen um, are 2D sprites and a sprite is essentially um, it can be any type of image whether it wants to be like high resolution or something simple such as a pixelated one um, but to create a sprite all you need to do you can either right click the sprites folder here and then click create sprite or you can hit this button here, it's a bit like a Pac-Man button, but if you hit that, that will create a sprite for you. Once you create a sprite, that will actually bring up this menu here, um, and then ideally you want to name your sprite something that um, will be memorable and allow you to um, go back to the reference in the future. So all of my sprite assets, I uh, prefix them SPR underscore. Uh, and that allows me to determine whether that like game asset is a sprite. Um, this sprite is actually going to be a wall object, so I'm going to just call it SPR underscore block, like so. Uh, and then you can either import your image from an external editor, so like Adobe Photoshop for example. To do that you'd hit the load sprite button and then select it in your project folder. Uh, but otherwise, uh, if you want to create one inside Game Maker, you click the Edit Sprite button. This brings up a new window, like so. And then to create a sprite, all you need to do is click the paper icon here. That will create a new sprite. And then it will bring up this window here. Uh, this sets the width and the height of the sprite. So for the purpose of this project, um, I'm going to stick with 32 by 32. Um, and just a word of note, ideally you want to use powers of 2. So this can be 2, 4, 8, 16, uh, 32, 64, 128 and so forth. Uh, that just allows um, all the graphics cards to interpret the image um, and understand it. Um, so hit OK on that, uh, 32 is perfectly fine, but you can like change the size to whatever you want really. Um, and this white sprite, I'm actually going to make it like a wall object, so um, I'm going to select like a, an orangey turn out of the colour picker here, and then I'm going to drag a box over it like so, and then I'm going to click the fill tool here, and then click that like so. So that's ended up with an orange square, but then I want to add like... Um, small gaps in the brick to it. And notice I've just made an error. Um, what I can do to undo that is if I hit control on the keyboard and then Z, that undoes the change for me. Um, but yeah, click the line tool 
to create some brickwork and then you can simply drag these across inside the, the actual sprite editor itself. So um, to get basic things done um, this is perfectly fine um, however if you want to work on like a really graphically demanding project you tend to use like uh, a different editor such as Photoshop to do your sprite work. Um, so hit OK on that now that that's done. That's our wall. Uh, and then click the tick mark. That saves the changes and then hit OK. Now, uh, what I want to talk about is the creation of objects. So what objects allow you to do is simply control and manipulate the sprites inside your game. So what an object does, um, it essentially is an extension of a sprite. So the object will allow you to manipulate the sprite somehow in the game. So say for example if you want um, another object to collide with the wall object, uh, you could set the wall object to solid and that enables collision inside the wall uh, sprite so that you can um, prevent collisions with other objects. Um, so you can do all sorts of objects, um, even like um, controlling them with the keys on your keyboard. You use them for pretty much everything in the game. So to create an object, right click the objects folder, uh, or yeah, and then click create object. Or I believe you can hit this button here, it's like a circle, if I hover over it. It says create an object, so I can hit, simply hit that, no, no, create an object for me. Now, and usually, uh, yeah, prefix my objects obj and then underscore, and then let's just call it obj uh, block, like so. And then to assign the sprite to the object, simply hit this button and then hit uh, spr block. It comes up in a menu here. Um, just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to hit the solid box here as well. That will um, enable game makers like internal collision system uh, and that will make it really simple for us to get game working in the long run. So hit OK on that and then the last thing I want to talk about in this video is the creation of rooms. So the room inside game maker is essentially uh, the window to which your game is displayed. So uh, if you right click the rooms and then click create room uh, you can set the width and the height of the room, uh, but we're going to ignore that for the time being. Um, and to simply put the object inside the game room, we can select the OBJ block from this menu here in the objects tab, and then simply left click on the game room, like so. And then that is actually placing block like wall objects inside the game room. So if you hit the tick, bo like tick box now, and then hit the play button, this will uh, compile the game and then it will run in a window. So this is the actual game running as an external application. Um, and what we're going to be intended on doing in this project in the long run, uh, I want to do a small platforming game um, using Game Maker's drag and drop system. Uh, that will, uh, it's essentially a basic version um, of Game Maker's uh, GML scripting language, uh, but it really simplifies everything for the absolute beginner. Uh, but once we've completed that project, I'm actually going to be remaking the exact same project again, uh, but using GML. So uh, that gives you both um, perspectives of how to create the game. Um, but we're only going to be doing that after uh, people have uh, got um, a grasp for the basic things inside Game Maker, so it's really quite an advanced topic. Um, but as for now, I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, and I will see you in the next one. So uh, in the next one, I plan to uh, get a player object inside the game, and maybe um, add a few uh, physics controls such as moving left and right and gravity. So yeah, hope to see you then.